Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play The Seventh Saga. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had punched a snake lady, well, scorpion lady, mm. and a uh, god wanna be in the face. And now, we are about to, pos well, hopefully, relatively soon, we're about to gain possession of our one and only weapon that Willem can actually use, presuming that we can actually run into slash defeat the encounters that are involved. Just gotta punch this giant douche in the face. There we go. Doom. If, uh, no one knows that song, you might be too young for this channel. So... Let's see. I'm trying to remember exactly where the enemy is in question. None of these guys. Lamos. Should be around here somewhere. While we're all while we're trying to find them, of course, we're going to be heading to Ah, here you are. The sword. Uh swords are kinda dicks. Swords hit hard and barely take any damage when you hit them, so you kinda. It helps to buff up a little bit. And not get petrified. Yeah, you're pretty much always gonna do one damage to them, no matter what. They're like the metal slimes of this game. Eh. I'm gonna have to use a potion, aren't I? Stop trying to petrify me. And lower my defense. One more. And then it's up to RNG. The sword. Aha. So the sword can drop several different sword-based weapons. Uh, one of them being called the Sword Sword. I ain't kidding, and I'm so glad I'm not kidding. It is the one weapon that every character can wield, uh, but at the same time, it's the only weapon that Wilma can. And you know, for our level, for the fact that we actually can't wield any other weapons, it's not that bad of a weapon. God, he was petrified for four rounds. Stop using all my mirrors. Hell, even these guys are la less effort to deal with than a silver brain. This might actually just end up being, like, some sort of a grinding episode. If it weren't for these dooms being dicks. God damn it. I just wanted a sword. Gonna take a potion too. But yeah, this this area, if you were not expecting particularly strong enemies, is kind of a dick. Uh, because the enemies here are particularly particularly strong compared to the uh, other continents. So yeah, it's a little rough. Doom. But they'll hit it hits you with these dooms, it hits you with the swords, it hits you with some enemies you saw on the last continent. But again, we're really only looking for the sword. Huh, been a while since I've seen that attack. I really should again, I should have killed the Y Rock first. Jerk. 
Stop your healing. Nine hundred XP. I don't think we're all that far from another level. Yeah, we're one more sword enemy away from a level. Ah, uh, another doom. I feel like sometimes, too, that there's just some enemies that you might as well not bother trying to run away from, and I think that Doom is one of them. One of them? One of them. I word. Hmm. I do hope the sword's not just located up in the northern section of this continent. I uh, just want to fight the swords. Yes, run away, you coward. Damn it. I was going to one-shot you, too. Well, I guess two-shot regardless is fine. And a level up. Huzzah. Five, four, two, four. Dead even with those stats. I think the only other thing that's over here is the cave. I could have sworn that there was a village before the cave, though. Or maybe I am just thinking of, um... Ooh, critical. Or maybe I am just thinking of Valenza. Which, if I am, oh well. If I'm not, that kind of sucks. You might be thinking to yourself too, Hey Dar, since they're so defensively strong, why not just use magic? Well A, I'm playing as Wilme. And B, I think even then the magic still only does one damage. Like, all their defenses are stupid high, so... Eh. I'll try to escape one more time, and then everything here dies. Right, everything here dies now. Let's we'll start with the poisonings. Or, you know, one of the other... Flame guys, of course. These guys would be cold. Punch. God damn it. These guys aren't hard, they're just tedious to deal with because they are they have so much HPs. It might honestly next time be better to just use the moon rune. Power myself up and then punch him. Sir, I think I just gotta go. Oh, right, poison. Thank you. I just want to find the sword. Those guys aren't swords. Ah, there's the next locale. You're not a sword either. But yeah, just the idea of the sword sword is pretty damn funny. Because it itself is the sword. Or it itself is a sword, rather. So I imagine that whoever the hell decides to just pick up the sword that is the sword will just, you know, pick up the sword and then start swinging it around. Look at me, I got the sword sword. You jerk. Damn it. 140 goddamn HP. 
And of course you hear like some of it. Jerks. Die. Die. So at the least this area, now that uh, we are as strong as we are, honestly. This area is not too shabby. If I had came here though, when the game was all like, Oh hey, you ready? And I didn't power grind? <sighs> Such a bad time. Spiders! They return. Sorry, pea moon, which I, which I always assume meant poisonous moon or pale moon or something like that. Harp. I have received a musical instrument. I don't think there's any swords in here. Shut up, phone. Why am I bothering with the pale moons, poison moons? Why are you called moon? You're spiders. Of course, one shotting them is not an option unless I defend. Which honestly, the defend attack, um, I always did like as a mechanic. I just didn't. How to put it? Because I love this game, but Defend Attack is one of those things where it kind of adds a little bit of tedium to the game. I don't know. Why am I suddenly so tired? M Seed. Oh, MP Seed, okay. That should... wait. Was it intelligence seed or M seed that it raises ones? Because I think the M and the M seed stands for magic. You know, thinking about it, that makes sense. M for magic, intelligence for MP. Kind of like how the vitality seed is, um... The vitality seed is for that other stat that if it drops to zero you die. HP, Jesus. Oh, maybe I should take a nap after this. God damn. Not sure why I'm bothering with the poison moons. I could just run away from them. That would make my life so much easier. But I think the faster I get out of this cave. The pain is unbearable. What's the pain? The pain is that we can no longer cast spells. Oh no. My purely physical based character can no longer cast spells. <laughs> I don't know, I, the, that always made me chuckle whenever I come out of the come out of that cave as either Lux or Camille or Olven. God damn it. Sword, sword ran away. And it's like, oh no, I can't use spells. The only characters I think it really affected would would be Camille or Olven, and that's only because uh, they do have the ability to heal themselves. It's not a strong ability. Mind you. It is just, it, it's an option. An option that they have. Uh, balls. Town of Bogusk. Uh, let's find the inn of Bogusk. Actually, what do you have in your shop of items first? Potion 3. Uh, I mean, oh, excuse me, I've been using Potion 2, so... Let's go ahead and buy up some of these. 
Um, God, I don't know why the hell I just suddenly lost a whole lot of energy. But anywho... Oh, God damn. It's weird because I've been drinking coffee almost all day. And when I say all day, I mean like the past. Four hours? I think at this point. Jeez. Maybe I just didn't get much sleep last night. I really don't know. Yeah. You look pale. Go see the old woman called Tonoka. Would love to, but y'all are surrounding me. Were you Tonoka? Uh, came into town. Wonder what's happening on this continent. Terrible things. Worst things. Bad things. You're not Tanoka. You're not an old woman. You're not an old woman. You're an alien. You're not an old woman. You're an empty house. You're the old woman. You look here. Let me take a look at you. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh, I see. Looks like you are being cursed. That's why you can't use magic. Do you have any idea who might have done this to you? I wonder if the people of Guanta have anything to do with this. Go to the village of Guanta and see what happens. So Guanta is up north more. Uh, not terribly far if I recollect. Matter of fact, I really don't know the purpose of this town besides just being another town. That said, though, I really want that sword sword, so I'm going to try to sword sword it up. Assuming that they give me sword swords to fight. Don't know whether or not those guys are actually a threat. Are you a threat? Paunch. Mm, brain. Eh. They're a threat, but not a threat that are worth it. Honestly, it'd probably be a better idea to go back to Valinka. Do my grinding for the bear. Less. Frick. Less uh, enemy variety to contend with. Because all I want is the sword. Let's go to Valinka. Go to Valinka and hope that we find our sword. You're not a sword. If you really want to go, I'll go. You're gonna regret it. I might regret it. Hey, defense up. <sighs> I think the grinding of this particular playthrough is finally getting to me is the thing. Possibly is getting to me. Just give me the sword! Let me escape and then give me the sword. How about that? In that order. Oh, okay. I thought the Y Rock was gonna be a problem because of its magic, but I mean, that was a lot of damage. But. I suppose the only other thing. Is I am grinding around this area, which, considering what events that are going to happen, grinding is not a terrible thing to do. Go away. I want one thing, and then one thing only. The sword sword. A lot harder to grind for than, um, literally everything else in the game. Recoveries are easier to get, and there's supposedly a ra rather rare drop off of the brains. <sighs> Come 
coffee. Caffeine is good. So is not being mirrored. Nice. One more hit. Drop me a sword. Drop me a sword. Tranquil sword. I mean, I did say a sword, so it did drop a sword. But yeah, it will drop uh, a variety of different swords. But of course, the one and only one that we care about is the sword sword. I was about to say, I feel like it's been a long time since I've tried to actively hunt down enemies, but then I'm like, no. You literally did try to hunt down enemies a couple of hours ago by Let's Play standards when you were trying to hunt down the Silver Brains. Can I escape from Dooms? Or is this a futile effort? Starting to feel futile. Futile? Uh, defend. Attack. Come on. Perfect. It's an old goddamn sword. Better do a quick rest scene as we just... It would save me money to do a quick rest over, you know... Chugging down a potion. It's kind of the worst when you think about it because there's different uh, characters throughout the game, Olven and Camille in particular, that pretty much need to have a constant flow of money so that they can afford their stupid, ridiculously expensive gold bearing freaking weapons and armor. And then you got a character, and then you got a character like this guy in Lux, for like, money? Who cares, man? I'm just use it to buy booze and potions. Or I guess in the case of Lux, uh, motor oil and potions, I don't know. What would a machine buy? If they wanted to have capitalism. Probably artifacts that make it so as their weapons go pew pew with fire or lightning. Or missiles. That's a saber. Saber can be used by Asuna, if I remember. It would be a doom, wouldn't it? I suppose to keep things from being a little bit monotonous for me, I'll try not to run away from everything. But at the same t at the same time, it's just kind of like, bleh. 44. 7-3. Ow, that's a bad power stat. Man, that's below his 4. Ah, eh, well. By the time we're done with this... Hunt, supposedly I'll have myself a sword. And then I won't have to worry about that. Like minus one. Eh. The worst problem with the swords is them running away. So you really want to kill them before they do. Don't lower my defense, jerk. Don't lower my defense, and then I just start dodging every other freaking attack. Oh no, my precious, precious, precious magic. The crin sword, god damn it. Uh, this might take a small eternity. 
it might actually take me long enough to consider doing it off camera if I don't get it in the next like five minutes. All right, you got the ability to revive things. Don't. Nine hundred. I'm gonna level up like five more times just trying to get the sword sword, aren't I? I'm gonna be level fifty before I leave this place. I mean, at which point I'm just going to plow through everything else in the game, but I digress. Not that I'm not already pretty much plowing through most of this game at this point. Like, what, my... How I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Because my first couple of Let's Plays of this... Uh, took a long ass time. Sight sword. But they took a long ass time because I was still like trying to remember all the ropes, all the different things, all the different stuff. Now it's just like, yep, I played through this so many times. Die. Wow, two vacuum twos in a row. Jerk. You're lucky that A, I have a ridiculous agility, and B, I have so many harps on me. I'm just laden with harps. You could call me a harpsichord. Those two items are not related at all. Or are they? We must do research. Am I even going to find another sword to fight before the end of this episode? Like, I'm literally charging myself at every single dot that I see. I just want a sword. There are few things in life that would make Wilmay happy. One of them would be a sword from a sword. I gotta make that into a d, &D monster now that I think about it. What sort of enemy is that? It looks like an animated sword. Cool. I'm gonna bust it up. Cool. You defeat it eventually. And now, you gain yourself a sword. And then you just roll what kind of random sword it is. Oh, it's a short sword. It's a long sword. Great sword. Naturally, it would have to be a plus one weapon just to make it so as a character would all also go. Oh, finally, I got a sword. Which is what I would say had one of these have been a sword. I am. I'm going to level up to like 50 before I get myself a sword sword. Also, I don't know whether or not people found those um, sped up like montage grinding videos from last last time interesting or fun or whatever. I usually do those because I found a little bit of music that I like and I was like, man, people need to hear this. It is bitching. And I did that when I was trying to look for uh, good cover art or cover music for Seven Saga. And yeah, there's OC Remix, which is usually pretty good. But man, the, the, the one artist I had found that did the cover of that song, so damn good. Oh no, 40 MP, whatever shall I do without that 40 MP? Let me see, now I, now I just want to try to find that particular folder? Or was it still zipped? Viking Guitar Live Warpath, that was it. Yeah, he, he's done a ton of other covers for stuff like 
Legend of Zelda, some good of mana, uh, Mega Man, Trigon, Trigon. Eh. Good shit. Well, I have yet to have gotten a sword, so I'm going to do one more fight, and then I'm going to call it an episode. No, not a sword. Uh, I was hoping to get the sword sword on camera. But I suppose I'll do that off camera. Because I suppose it can only be a little bit interesting to... Hear a guy yak on while trying to find a sword sword. So, I'm gonna call an episode here. When we return, I will have gained a sword sword. And probably like five more levels before we move on. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.